everyone, welcome to a video everyone on uh, a game, a game that contains a very, very, very big number, and it's to do with um, seeds to grow, um, so you have here um, three seeds, you have a, uh, a green one, then you have, um, let's go for a dark blue one, so you have a dark blue seed and a green seed and also let's go for a black seed now we're going to try to build a forest and see how far we can get with these seeds and trust me it will take a long time so the first of all the first seed only has more than one seed the second seed don't have more than two so the second seed we need to draw um the grid and then so it's more than two seeds, and the third seed cannot have more than three. So the third one must go on to uh, three. So, and there we go. Now, and then we can keep going forward. We can keep going, um, we can keep going here. We can add maybe a blue seed there, and then uh, perhaps a, a green seed, perhaps, on top. Now, then what we can do next is then we can do, do the... Um, Okay, hold on a second. Then we can do um, um, a black seed. We can add a black seed. And then with... Uh, draw the line down. And then... Uh, I like to keep the noted line with this one. But never mind, yeah. And then with the blue seed. Now, uh, it looks like I can draw some men in, in infinite variations. But it's not. This is the tree function. So, we have here the tree function. Which is described as tree of n this number here the number that it will take to finish this entire entire list is called tree three so that's the number it will take now you may be asking you now you may be wondering how big is this number first of all it's not infinite there is a limit yet we don't know what the final digit is of this number is, but there is no known upper bound of this, but it's finite. And it comes from this game that you draw uh, seats. Now, I'm going to grasp you a, a photo. Okay guys, so here's the better graph of the game. Here you have the nearest common ancestor and the, the, the nearest common ancestor. The tree cannot be contained in the same tree. So if this is green, red, green, you cannot have green, red, green. However, this is green, red, black. Despite looking at green, red, green, green, red, and green, green, red, this isn't contained because the nearest common ancestor is the black one. So this is not contained. Also, a better graph of this picture is that this also doesn't contain in this one. You see, this is black, black, red green 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 black green red so that's that you know you can even chain up a bunch here if you wanted to you know it's ended but just ridiculously big so then that's that so basically if i were to play this game this game to see the max i could get i mean i could spend the life of the entire universe trying to get to the end and i'll get nowhere close that's how big the number is However, so we got an example here. We can do. We can get. Um, I'm gonna use grey as a maybe like blue as one. So we can. I can give you, for example, green. Then I can do blue. Then I can do black. So that's that. And so that's green, blue, black. So I'm gonna chain them up with, let's say, a black note. So that's that. The color of the note really doesn't matter. It doesn't. It can be anything really. So that's green green black but also go down you also can have another blue so that is blue green blue but also i can do blue again then i can also do um so after the blue i can also do green then i can also do um chain them down so i'm going to use this to chain them down together so no i'll do that after then i can also do blue again so it's not contained because my nearest common ancestor is the blue as well so you can kind of see these uh it's the blue that's the nearest common ancestor actually so yeah um so yeah we've got green 
green, blue, and green, green. No, you've got blue, green, blue, and blue, green, blue. However, the common ancestors is not the same. So this tree is not contained as this one. So those are not contained. However, the probability of someone drawing the exact same is very low, honestly. It's, but it's still just finite. So we can kind of get a better picture here. A better picture here, guys, okay? So um, a better view understanding of, of this number. Um, also, I'm going to also, yeah, I'll, get, I'll give you just a bit of a better understanding of this. So here, guys, that's the picture I was looking for. So you can see that first you have the red seed. It stays there. It's red. You cannot use any more of this one because one seed because there's only one. Now you have to have to use two of them. So only two, max of two. The third one, no more than three. So three for five, three, and the fourth one no more than four, and so on, so on. So here's a better graph of this. That this one is not contained. You know, it's blue, blue, green, green, blue, and this one is a different shape. This one's a little bit of a different shape. This one is a different shape. I'm also thinking about the, like. They're also kind of draw one here, I guess. If I could draw one here, that's in a different way. Oh, yeah, you can. I guess, yeah, I guess you can actually do quite a lot, actually. Yeah, you can do quite a lot with this um, number. And then, look, it continues. But it finishes at some point. It finishes at some point. But this number is suffocatingly big because it's so huge. It's so, so huge that, honestly, it, it, like, uh, um, honestly, it's just... Un unexpressible. That's how big it is. So yeah, um, but it does have a finishing point. The game does end at a certain point, and it will have to end at a certain point. Even if you had seven, four seats, which results in even bigger number called three, four, the game finishes at some point, and it must finish. However, guys, there are other big numbers, bigger than this one, bigger than four of these seats, bigger than five of them. That I will talk about in another video that are just uncomprehensible. But anyways, I hope that you did enjoy this video, guys. Hope you, f you found this very entertaining. Um, yeah, here's another graph, guys. Here's like the same tree graph, similar tree graph, but yeah, um, it's is honestly crazy. But yeah, you can kind of see that the game does end in a way, sort of. Um, it does end, and as it, there's quite a lot of graphs, similar graphs that do codes and stuff. Go ahead and check these functions out. They're very interesting and very cool functions, especially functions that have to do with um, uh, functions called Beezy Beaver functions. Those are very cool ones and very fascinating to me, especially very good ones, actually. They're very cool and large computable numbers like this one. Yeah, they're very fascinating. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave this video a thumbs up, and yeah, we'll get ready in another video for an even bigger number, probably. Yep, yeah, bye. Even bigger. Just be prepared.